American nuclear scientist, Asuna Mile Masango, will be laid to rest this morning in uh, Nongoma, KwaZulu Natal. She died on Sunday at the age of 37. Masango was a board member of the Nuclear Energy Cooper Corporation of South Africa. Newsroom Africa, Siliti Wendlovu is in Nongoma now to tell us more about this trailblazer. Siletiwe uh, Snamila contributing immensely, I think, towards science and technology. That part really undeniable. Talk to me about, you know, um, surely what is being shared about her as she's being laid to rest this morning. Hmm. Good morning, Naledi. Uh, quite right. Uh, over the course of this week, we've heard uh, about the immense contribution uh, or contributions rather that were made by Senamile Masango when you are looking at uh, science, not only in the country, but also uh, internationally. And as you mentioned, she was uh, a board member uh, at Nexa before her untimely passing. And I just want to bring in members from Nexa to speak to us more um, about uh, Senamile uh, and the legacy that she leaves behind. Uh, thank you for speaking to us this morning. Firstly, talk to us about how immense uh, the loss of Senamile Masango is when you are looking at Nexa and the country as a whole. Good morning to you and your listeners. Senamile Masango was an invaluable member of the board. There are no words to describe the kind of impact that she had. She was a very strong-willed person who brought her invaluable contributions at every committee meeting uh, to the table. She was a firm defender, especially in terms of female uh, rights, up and coming females. Uh, and she was very passionate about that area and making sure that the views of females are heard. She came up with quite a lot of invaluable input in terms of all the discussions that she had. She had quite a presence in every meeting that she was part of. Mm -hmm. And it is a loss to the organization, which is NEXA, South African Nuclear Energy Corporation. We have no words. Mm -hmm. We are still grappling with the sad news. It mm -hmm. was something which was really unexpected. She had been in some of the subcommittee meetings uh, quite recently. And in those meetings, whenever she was present at those meetings, she contributed without reserve mm -hmm. and very strong-willed, very uh, brilliant inputs in each and every committee that she was part of. You're mentioning something that we've been hearing, uh, you know, about over the course of this week, and that's uh, how uh, motivated she was in terms of bringing young girls or motivating young girls in terms of studying science. You worked closely with her. Talk to us about the reasons behind that. So what she always said was coming from the rural com community of Guanongoma, she felt a burning need in terms of the fact that Females should not only be in sitting in kitchens, but they have an invaluable presence to bring to each committee that they come to. Females, as we all know, are quite good at multitasking. So that those attributes which are quite unique to females are the things that she used to say that we should not, we should not be afraid to break those glass ceilings. And she was quite passionate about that because coming from this small community and such a young age, such and having done so many things, she felt that if she could do it as a role player and be an example of what it is, then other females could follow suit. So seeing her having broken those glass ceilings, having gone to those various boardrooms and being able to participate actively and impassionately of where she saw the contribution in terms of science, you could see that she felt that that would actually open up for those who are coming beyond mm -hmm. and behind her. So with all of her foundations and the kind of work that she was doing, it almost felt as if she knew that she had to do as much as possible in the limited amount of time that she had. And uh, uh, Pradesh, I just want to bring you into this conversation because she's mentioning something else that she was quite uh, passionate about, and that is uh, science. Talk to us about perhaps some of the key initiatives that she spearheaded uh, in terms of promoting nuclear science. Good morning to you and good morning to the Newsroom Africa, uh, to the audience. Um, yes, thank you so much. Um, it is a great sad loss to, uh, to all of us, uh, Ms. Masango, the fact that she's no longer part of. She was a chairperson of the Research and Technology Development Committee, and that made her a very powerful person in terms of direction, science direction. So what obviously she was doing with the board of directors is focusing on the initiative of promoting nuclear in South Africa, promoting the nuclear agenda. We're talking about nuclear energy. We're talking about nuclear research. 
we talk about nuclear fuel cycle activities. And she strongly supported the fact that South Africa needs to go in this direction to grow as a nation. Um, we are creating high-level jobs, high-level technical jobs. And I like your comment earlier about the fact that you've promoted the youth, especially in terms of science, developing them because they are to be the leaders to, do, to, to run with this for us as South Africans. She was passionate about this. She believed in, her, in what she was doing. She worked directly with the board of directors, directly with the minister, to help promote this agenda and help ensure this is where South Africa is going. Maybe lastly then, before uh, we let you go, the legacy that she leaves behind, how is the organization going to continue uh, with that legacy? Ms. Misanko set the foundation for us to move forward, especially in terms of nuclear technology. Under her leadership, one of the very big projects that has already been approved by Cabinet is the multi-purpose research reactor. So now we have a new research reactor. National Treasury has already allocated the, some of the funds to get this project off the ground, and she takes this legacy with her. This is what she helped us create for this country, for the future of this country. The Safari One nuclear reactor was built 60 years ago. It has been a bastion of research for this country. And thanks to her, we are now going to go into the next phase of the next research reactor. Pradesh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Precious. Um, that is Pradesh and uh, Precious as, uh, from Nexa speaking to us about some of the work that uh, Ms. Masang was engaged in before her untimely passing and, of course, the major contribution that she made uh, in terms of science when you are looking at South Africa.